when we become who we need it. Something magical happens. The universe starts to use us as instruments of healing for others. That pain you felt when no one understood your dreams, it becomes the compassion you offer to someone else who's being told their aspirations are too big. That loneliness you experience when you needed a friend, it becomes the intuition that helps you recognize when someone else is silently crying out for connection. You see, there's a profound difference between simply surviving our pain and transforming through it. When we merely survive, we build walls to protect ourselves. But when we transform, we build bridges to connect with others. We take our experiences and turn them into lanterns that light the way for those still finding their path. Let me share something profound with you about the nature of healing. Most of us spend years looking outside ourselves for healing in relationships and achievements and material success. We think if we could just find the right person, the right job, the right circumstance, everything would fall into place. But true healing doesn't come from external sources. It comes from within. It comes from becoming the source of what we seek. Think about that for a moment. Every time you wish someone would understand you, you were developing the capacity for deep understanding. Every time you long for someone to believe in you, you were cultivating the ability to have unwavering faith in others. Every moment of darkness was preparing you to become light. This journey of becoming isn't about erasing your past or pretending the pain never existed. It's about honoring your journey by using it as a foundation for growth. Your broken pieces aren't just scars. They're the very places where your light shines through most. I want you to imagine something with me. Imagine standing before your younger self. Do that version of you that, that felt lost, scared, or alone, what would you say to them? What wisdom would you share? What comfort would you offer? Now, here's the beautiful truth. You can still give yourself that very same love, that very same wisdom, that very same comfort. And in doing so, you become a living testament to the power of transformation. You see, being broken isn't the end of your story. It's often the beginning of your greatest strengths. When we learn to be who we needed, we don't just heal ourselves we become healing for others. We become living proof that pain can be transformed into purpose, that wounds can become wisdom, that brokenness can become breakthrough. How many times have you heard someone say exactly what you needed to hear, only to realize they could say it because they'd walked a similar path? How many times has someone's vulnerability given you permission to be honest about your own struggles? That's the power of becoming who you needed. You naturally become a bridge for others. But this journey requires courage. It requires you to look at your pain not as something to run from, but as something to learn from. It requires you to stand in front of your mirror and make a sacred commitment to become everything you once needed. To parent yourself with the love you deserved. To mentor yourself with the guidance you craved. To friend yourself with the loyalty you sought. The most beautiful part of this journey is that it's not just about healing your past. It's about creating a new future. When you become who you needed, you start to attract different experiences, different relationships, different opportunities, because you're no longer operating from a place of lack, but from a place of wholeness. The universe doesn't waste pain. Every tear, every disappointment, every moment of loneliness, they're all threads in the tapestry of your becoming. They're all preparing you to be someone else's answer, someone else's hope. Someone else's proof that darkness doesn't last forever. You might be wondering, how do I begin this journey? It starts with a simple but profound shift in perspective. Instead of asking, why did this happen to me? Start asking, how can this transform me? How can this prepare me to... The shift changes everything. It takes you from victim to victor, from wounded to warrior, from broken to breakthrough. In your hands, lies the power to rewrite the story of your pain. Not to erase it, but to transform it into something beautiful, something meaningful, something that serves not just your healing, but the healing of others. You have the power to become the person you needed when you were broken, and in doing so, to become the person someone else needs right now. Your journey of becoming isn't just about you. It's about every life you'll touch, every heart you'll heal, every soul you'll inspire simply by being who you needed when you were at your lowest. Your transformation becomes a testament to the possibility of healing, a beacon of hope. Remember, the greatest gift you can give to your younger self isn't changing the past. It's changing how that past transforms you. 
It's about taking all the love, understanding, and wisdom you wished you had then and becoming its source now. It's about recognizing that perhaps everything you went through wasn't just happening to you. It was preparing you for this moment, this understanding, this opportunity to become someone else's light in the dark. When we become who we needed, something magical happens. The universe starts to use us as instruments of healing for others. That pain you felt when no one understood your dreams. It becomes the compassion you offer to someone else who's being told their ass. The loneliness you experience when you needed a friend. It becomes the intuition that helps you recognize when someone else is silently crying out for connection. You see, there's a profound difference between simply surviving our pain and transforming through it. When we merely survive, we build walls to protect ourselves. But when we transform, we build bridges to connect with others. We take our experiences and turn them into lanterns that light the way for those still. Let me share something profound with you about the nature of healing. Most of us spend years looking outside ourselves for healing in relationships, in achievements, in material success. We think if we could just find the right person, the right job, the right circumstance, everything would fall into place. But true healing doesn't come from external sources. It comes from within. It comes from becoming the source of what we seek. Think about that for a moment. Every time you wish someone would understand you, you were developing the capacity for deep understanding. Every time you long for someone to believe in you, you are cultivating the ability to have unwavering faith in others. Every moment of darkness was preparing you to become light. This journey of becoming isn't about erasing your past or pretending the pain never existed. It's about honoring your journey by using it as a foundation for growth. Your broken pieces aren't just scars. So they're the very places where your light shines through most brilliantly. I want you to imagine something with me. Imagine standing before your younger self, that version of you that felt lost, scared, or alone. What would you say to them? What wisdom would you share? What comfort would you offer? Now, here's the beautiful truth. You can still give yourself that very same love, that very same wisdom, that very same comfort. And in doing so, you become a living testament to the power of transformation. You see, being broken isn't the end of your story. It's often the beginning of your greatest strength. When we learn to be who we needed, we don't just heal ourselves. We become healing for others. We become living proof that pain can be transformed into purpose, that wounds can become wisdom, that brokenness can become breakthrough. How many times have you heard someone say exactly what you needed to hear, only to realize they could say it because they'd walked a similar path? How many times has someone's vulnerability given you permission to be honest about your own struggles? That's the power of becoming who you needed. You naturally become a bridge for others. But this journey requires courage. It requires you to look at your pain not as something to run from, but as something to learn from. It requires you to stand in front of your mirror and make a sacred commitment to become everything you once needed, to parent yourself with the love you deserved, to mentor yourself with the guidance you craved, to friend yourself with the loyalty you sought. The most beautiful part of this journey is that it's not just about healing your past. It's about creating a new future. When you become who you needed, you start to attract different experiences, different relationships, different opportunities, because you're no longer operating from a place of lack, but from a place of wholeness. The universe doesn't waste pain. Every tear, every disappointment, every moment of loneliness, they're all threads in the tapestry of your becoming. They're all preparing you to be someone else's answer, someone else's hope, someone else's proof that darkness doesn't last forever. You might be wondering, how do I begin this journey? It starts with a simple but profound shift in perspective. Instead of asking, why did this happen to me? Start asking, how can this transform me? How can this prepare me to help others? The shift changes everything. It takes you from victim to victor, from wounded to warrior, from broken to breakthrough. In your hands lies the power to rewrite the story of your pain, not to erase it, but to transform it into something beautiful, something meaningful, something that serves not just your healing, but the healing of others. You have the power to become the person you needed when you were broken, and in doing so, to become the person someone else needs right now.
Your journey of becoming isn't just about you. It's about every life you'll touch, every heart you'll heal, every soul you'll inspire simply by being who you needed when you were at your lowest. Your transformation becomes a testament to the possibility of healing, a beacon of hope for others still finding their way. Remember a greatest gift you can give to your younger self isn't changing the past. It's changing how that past transforms you. It's about taking all the love, understanding, and wisdom you wished you had then and becoming its source now. It's about recognizing that perhaps everything you went through wasn't just happening to you, it was preparing you for this moment, this understanding, this opportunity to become someone else's light in the darkness. Let's explore something deeper now. The power of presence in your own healing journey. When you were broken, Perhaps what you needed most wasn't advice or solutions, but simply presence. Someone to sit with you in the darkness without trying to rush you into the light. Now you have the power to be that presence for yourself. This is where meditation becomes such a powerful tool in becoming who you needed. Not as an escape from your feelings, but as a way to be fully present with them. When you sit in quiet reflection, you create space to hear your own inner wisdom. The wisdom that was always there, but perhaps got drowned out by the noise of others' expectations and judgments. Think about presence as creating a sacred space within yourself where healing can occur naturally. Just as a broken bone needs stillness to heal, your spirit needs moments of quiet presence to integrate your experiences and transform them into wisdom. You see, most of us were never taught how to sit with our pain. We were taught to run from it, numb it, or push it away. But in becoming who you needed, you learn to develop a different relationship with pain. You learn to see it, not as an enemy to be defeated, but as a teacher offering profound. Imagine your pain as a room in your internal house. Instead of keeping that door locked and pretending the room doesn't exist, you learn to open the door gently. You learn to walk in with compassion and understanding. You learn to turn on the light of awareness and see what that pain has to teach you. This is where true transformation begins, in these moments of honest self-reflection and gentle self-acceptance. When you can look at your broken places with love instead of shame, you begin to discover the gifts hidden within your womb. Your sensitivity becomes your strength. Your struggles become your wisdom. Your pain becomes your purpose. But this journey isn't just about individual healing. Right? It's about collective transformation. As you learn to be who you needed, you naturally become a lighthouse for others who are still finding their way through the storm. Your healing becomes a testament to what's possible. Your transformation becomes an invitation for others to begin their own journey of becoming. Think about the ripple effect of your healing. When you learn to speak to yourself with kindness, you change the energy you bring into every relationship. When you learn to honor your own boundaries, you teach others about healthy relationships. When you learn to embrace your authenticity, you give others permission to do the same. This is why self-compassion isn't selfish. It's revolutionary. In a world that often teaches us to be harsh with ourselves, choosing self-compassion is a radical act. It's a declaration that says, I choose to break the cycle of self-judgment. I choose to be the nurturing presence I needed. I choose to create a new pattern of relating to myself and others. Consider the power of this choice. Every time you choose compassion over criticism, understanding over judgment, patience over pressure, you're not just changing your own experience, you're contributing to a more compassionate world. You're showing others what's possible when we choose to heal rather than hide, when we choose to grow rather than remain stuck in old patterns. This journey also involves learning to celebrate your progress no matter how small it may seem. Perhaps when you were broken, you needed someone to acknowledge your efforts, to celebrate your small victories, to remind you that progress isn't always linear. Now you can be that encouraging voice for yourself. Remember, transformation isn't always about making big leaps. Sometimes it's about the small, consistent choices we make each day. The choice to speak to ourselves with kindness. The choice to honor our needs. The choice to trust our inner wisdom. These seemingly small choices accumulate over time creating profound change in how we experience ourselves in the world. As you continue on this path of becoming, you'll discover that healing isn't a destination. It's a journey of continuous unfolding, 
Each layer of healing reveals new opportunities for growth, new capacities for love, new depths. Let's talk about something vital in this journey of becoming, the power of conscious choice. Every moment presents us with an opportunity to choose how we respond to our experiences when you were broken. Perhaps you needed someone to show you that you had choices, that you weren't bound by your circumstances or defined by your past. Now, you have the power to make those conscious choices for yourself. You can choose how you interpret your experiences. You can choose what meaning you give to your past. You can choose how you want to show up in the world, regardless of how others have treated you. This is where the true alchemy of transformation happens, in the space between stimulus and response. In that precious moment, when you pause and choose your reaction consciously, rather than responding from old wounds and patterns. Think about this. Every time you feel triggered, every time old pain surfaces, you have a sacred opportunity. You can either react from your wounded self or respond from your healing self. You can either perpetuate old patterns or create new ones. The choice is yours, and that choice is your power. Let's explore what it means to respond from your healing self. It means meeting your triggers with curiosity instead of judgment. It means asking, what part of me needs attention right now? What old wound is asking to be healed? What younger version of me is calling for love? This level of self-awareness becomes your superpower. It allows you to catch yourself when you're slipping into old patterns and consciously choose a different response. It enables you to be the wise, compassionate presence you needed when those patterns were first formed. Consider how this shifts your entire relationship with growth and healing. Instead of seeing challenges as obstacles, you begin to see them as opportunities. Every trigger becomes an invitation to heal more deeply. Every conflict becomes a chance to practice new ways of being. Every mistake becomes a lesson in self-compassion. But here's something crucial to understand about this journey. It's not about becoming a different person. It's about becoming more fully yourself. It's about peeling away the layers of protection and pretense to reveal the authentic being you've always been beneath the pain and conditioning. This authenticity is your greatest gift to yourself in the world. When you were broken, perhaps what you needed most was permission to be yourself, to trust your own voice, to honor your own truth. Now you can give yourself that. You could be the one who says, your authenticity is not just acceptable, it's essential. Think about the profound impact this has on your energy, your relationships, your entire way of being in the world. When you're no longer expending energy trying to be who you think others want you to be, you have more energy available for genuine connection, creativity, and this journey also involves learning to trust your own inner guidance. Perhaps when you were broken, you needed someone to remind you that you have inner wisdom, that you can trust your intuition, that you know more than you think you know. Now you can be that affirming voice for yourself. Your inner guidance system is like a compass that always points toward your highest good. But to hear it clearly, you need to create space for silence, for reflection, for deep listening. This is why practices like meditation, journaling, and mindful walking become so valuable. They help you tune in to your inner wisdom. As you learn to trust yourself more deeply, you'll find that decisions become clearer boundaries become stronger and relationships become more authentic, you'll start attracting experiences and people that align with your true nature rather than your wounds. Every time you honor your truth, every time you listen to your inner wisdom, every time you choose authenticity over approval, you're not just healing yourself, you're showing others what's possible. You're demonstrating what it looks like to live from a place of self-trust and self-respect. As we move toward the conclusion of our time together, let's talk about legacy. Not just the legacy you'll leave behind someday, but the living legacy you're creating right now through your journey of becoming. Every time you choose healing over hiding, growth over stagnation, love over fear, you're contributing to a legacy of transformation. Think about the profound ripple effect of your healing journey. When you learn to be who you needed, you don't just transform your own life. You transform the lives of everyone you touch. Your courage to heal becomes permission for others to begin their own healing journey. Your willingness to face your pain becomes inspiration for others to face theirs. This is where the magic of becoming truly reveals itself. 
as you embody the qualities you once desperately needed, understanding patience, wisdom, love, you naturally become a beacon of hope for others. Without trying to fix or change anyone, your very presence becomes healing. Your journey becomes a lighthouse showing others that transformation is possible. Consider this, everything you wished for when you were broken, the understanding, the compassion, the guidance, you now have the power to embody. You can be the steady presence that says, I see you to yourself and others. You can be the voice of wisdom that whispers, this too shall pass in moments of doubt. You can be the compassionate heart that holds space for pain without trying to rush the healing process. But remember, this journey isn't about becoming perfect. It's about becoming whole. Wholeness includes all of your experiences, the light and the dark, the joy and the pain, the victories and the failures. When you embrace all of these aspects of yourself with compassion, you demonstrate what true self-acceptance looks like. Your broken places, once sources of shame, become wellsprings of wisdom. Your sensitivity, once seen as weakness, becomes your greatest strength. Your pain, once something to escape from, becomes the fertile soil from which your purpose. This is the alchemy of becoming, transforming your wounds into wisdom, your pain into purpose, your struggles into strength. It's about recognizing that perhaps everything you've been through wasn't just happening to you. It was preparing you to be exactly what someone else needs. As we near the end of our time together, I want you to consider something profound. What if your broken places were never truly broken? What if they were simply places where the light was trying to enter? What if every crack in your armor was actually an opening for greater love, deeper wisdom, and more authentic connection? This journey of becoming who you needed isn't a destination you reach once and for all. It's a continuous unfolding, a daily choice to show up for yourself with compassion, to meet your experiences with wisdom, to transform your pain into purpose. Remember, you don't have to have it all figured out to be who someone else needs. You don't have to be perfect to be a light for others. Your willingness to be authentic in your journey, to be honest about your struggles while remaining committed to growth. I mean, that's what creates the space for others to do the same as you leave here today. Carry this truth with you. You are not just healing yourself. You are not just your healing generations. Every time you choose love over fear, compassion over judgment, growth over stagnation, you're creating new patterns that ripple out far beyond your own life. You're becoming the answer to your own prayers. The comfort you sought, the wisdom you needed, the love you longed for, it's all within you waiting to be expressed. And as you learn to be these things for yourself, you naturally become them for others. Let this be your invitation to step fully into your power as a healer, first to yourself, and then of others through your example. Let your journey of becoming be a testament to the possibility of transformation. Let your presence be the medicine that someone else needs. And remember, in those moments when the journey feels challenging, when old doubts surface, when you feel lost, these are not setbacks. They're opportunities to practice being who you needed, to show up for yourself with even more love, more compassion, more understanding. You are not just healing your past, you are creating a new future. A future where broken places become sources of light, where pain becomes purpose, where wounds become wisdom. This is your legacy. This is your gift to the world. As you continue on this path of becoming, know that every step you take toward healing yourself creates ripples of transformation in the world around you. Your journey matters. Your healing matters. Your becoming matters. You're becoming the person you needed when you were broken. And in doing so, you're showing others what's possible. You're demonstrating that it's never too late to heal, never too late to grow, never too late to become who you truly are. Let me share something deeply personal with you. There was a time when I found myself sitting alone in my study, surrounded by all the external success one could imagine. Books published, speaking engagements lined up, a beautiful home, yet feeling utterly empty inside. I had achieved everything I thought would heal that broken child within me, but something was still missing. That night, in the depths of my despair, I finally understood what my soul had been trying to tell me all along. I didn't need more achievements or accolades. I needed to become the person that frightened, uncertain version of myself had always learned. In that moment of clarity, I stopped running from my pain and instead 
embraced it as my greatest teacher. This isn't just my story. It's a universal journey we're all walking. Each of us carries within us both the wounded and the healer, the broken and the whole, the lost and the found. As we close our time together, I want you to understand something profound. Your journey of becoming isn't just about healing your past. It's about transforming the future. Every time you choose compassion over criticism, understanding over judgment, love over fear, you're not just changing your own life. You're creating ripples that touch countless others. Think of yourself as a lighthouse. The light you shine isn't just for you. It's for every soul still finding their way through the storm. Your healing becomes their hope. Your transformation becomes their possibility. You are not just becoming who you needed. You are becoming who the world needs. Your broken places aren't your weakness. They're portals through which your light shines most brilliantly. Your pain isn't your prison. It's the source of your deepest wish. The time for hiding is over. The time for shame is done. The time for doubting your worth has passed. Rise now in all your glorious imperfection. Stand now in all your hard-won wisdom. They shine now through all your beautiful scars. Because in becoming who you needed when you were broken, you become the light that helps heal the world. When you transform your wounds into wisdom, your pain into purpose, your breaks into beauty, you don't just heal yourself, you become the medicine the world needs most. That is your gift. That is your purpose. That is your power. Thank you.